With the object cycling, we can now use the control key on your keyboard to swap between the objects. So I'm going to make use of the dimensions to illustrate this command. So first of all, I'm going to go to my dimension set and I'm going to make sure that the style I'm using is set to be associative. I'm going to say close and then just to make it easier on the screen as in our status bar at the bottom we talk about it about the highlighting so I'm just first going to configure it so I'm going to go to my configure and I'm going to ask Caddy highlight objects when command is active I'm going to say OK and I'm going to switch it on so if I'm going to use a dimension command as I move my pointer you'll see that Caddy will pick up the first line or the first object so now I can press the control key on the keyboard and you will see it will jump between the objects that's in that vicinity of your pointer. So if I want it to be associative to the first line, I indicate I've left click. And now I go to the second one, I press control key, and I want it to be associative to the last line. So if I'm going to place my dimension, it means that the first one and the last one is associative to the dimension. So if we double check, I can move this line and you will see that my dimension will update. If I move the last line, it will update. So now if you get a drawing from someone else, you don't know if he did make use of associativity, you can always select the dimension, right click, we can go down to dimensions and you'll see there's an option that says get associated entities. So if I left click, as you can see now it highlights the two objects that's associative to my dimension. If I go to OEM, as you can see I've got polyline, those are three rectangle polylines. So I'm going to use the horizontal command again, indicate the start point. And now if I get to the second point, do I want it to be associative to that to the second rectangle? Or I can press control key because now I can only toggle between those two objects. In this case, I want it to be associative to the second rectangle. So I'm going to left click and I'm going to place my dimension. So what that means is if I'm going to take that first one and I'm going to say M for move and I'm going to move this first rectangle you will see that my dimension will update because my first point and my last point the first one is associative to my first rectangle but my second point is associative to my second rectangle so let's do it on the other side as well I can indicate the start point of my dimension if I get to my second point I can press control if I want it to be associative to the second object or I can just press control and it keeps it associative only to that first rectangle. So if I select the rectangle, M for move, now you'll see that the dimension will move with the rectangle because it's only associative to those two points.